Geppetto was last seen trapped aboard the wicked Sneeroff ship headed towards Spain. Pinocchio had been left stranded on the shores of Africa. Now, in the great shipyards of Morocco, he was attempting to secure passage on a northbound ship. Uh, excuse me, Captain. Pardon me. Could you please take me to Spain, sir? Can you pay? No, but I could work as a cabin boy. I don't need one. I just hired my son as cabin boy. Oh. If my father were captain, he would hire me as cabin boy. Excuse me, are you sailing north? No, we're bound for Egypt. Oh, there must be a ship that will take me to Spain. Excuse me, will you take me to Spain? No. Oh, I guess I'm stuck in Africa. What'll I do? Come here, you mangy mongrel. We got you. And take your fleas with you. Yeah, no stowaways allowed. Oh, oh. oh no, are you okay? Ooh. They're lucky there was two of them. Golly, did I hear right? Were you really trying to stow away on that ship? Yes, I was, but they saw my nose sticking out from under the cargo. Oh, we'll meet another nose with a nose for trouble. The name's Pinocchio. Well, pleased to meet you. What's your name, fella? <laughs> my name is Debo. My trouble's finding a way to Spain. Hey, I'm going there too. My work here in Africa is done. When my body's healed, I'll simply swim across the water to retire in my homeland of Spain. You're hurt? Oh, it's nothing. Just an old hunting wound acting up again. Are you a hunter? <laughs> You're looking at one of the greatest lion hunters in all of Africa. Huh. You're saying if you saw a lion, you wouldn't run away scared? Hmm. Can't fool me. <sighs> You're nothing but a sad old stowaway. Enough! <gasps> How dare you! All Africa knows of my courageous deeds. Gosh, I didn't mean to insult him. I'm sorry! Boy, me and my big mouth! What's this? What strange rocks? I wonder what they're for. Oh, they're probably useless, just like me. <clears throat> hey there! Put that down! Huh? I've been diving for those rocks! Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to shout, Pinocchio. I guess I was just scared you were gonna steal everything I just gathered. Sorry I startled you, Muhammad, but I've never seen rocks like that. I had no idea they belonged to anybody. What are you going to use them for, anyway? Oh, these rocks are cold. I'm going to use them to fuel my hot air balloon. A hot air balloon? Isn't she beautiful? But what is it? I told you, a hot air balloon. My father left it to me when he went off to war. It doesn't look like a balloon. <laughs> That's what the coal is for. Here, I'll show you. First, we load the stove. Then, we pump the bellows. The extra oxygen will set the coal on fire. There we go. Now the heat will rise into the balloon. Here, I'll show you. Mohammed, be careful. <laughs> See how the paper rises with the heat? Oh, so the hot air is going up inside the balloon to inflate it. Well, my young friend, you seem to learn quite quickly. Just think, in no time I'll be up in the clouds with the wind at my back. I wish I could fly, but I don't think I'd be brave enough to try. You're not supposed to fly. Hmm? Don't pay any attention to Kiki. Why? Why do you say that? Why? Because I'm a bird. Everyone knows only birds were meant to fly. Is that true? Undeniably true. Well, if that's true, then why can Muhammad fly? Fly? How? Oh, Muhammad can't fly. I give you my word, the boy's never even been off the ground. Don't listen to that foolish hmm? old featherhead. He'll learn we all have the right to fly. It's true I haven't been up in the balloon before, but my father showed me how to do it. But maybe Kiki is right. I don't think I've ever heard of human beings flying before. It really doesn't seem natural. Listen, my friend, sailing ships on the ocean wasn't natural either before we tried that. Flying is totally different. It's just not something to be trifled with. Gee, trying it would be fun, though. Ah, you'd be too scared to try it anyway. I'm not scared of anything. I've made my decision. Count me in. I knew it. 
You'll see. It'll be a great adventure. <laughs> yeah. So the young pilots made preparations for their maiden voyage. Pinocchio hauled coal that Muhammad had brought up from the seafloor. Pinocchio was working so hard, he almost missed seeing Debo, the proud old lion hunter. Hey, Debo, what's wrong? I'm just resting. Excuse me, I haven't caught my supper yet. Debo! <laughs> Don't be ashamed that you're hungry. Wait here, I'll get some food for you. Look at this feast I found for you, a wonderful leg of mutton. Come on, Debo, eat it, it's good for you. What gives you the idea I need any of your help? Hmm. How dare you insult a great hunter with your pitiful handouts? You're just being a stubborn old grump. Stay hungry then. Oh, oh. <gasps> oh Debo! He's had a good rest. I'm sure his appetite's back. Debo, look at this. I brought you some soup. Pinocchio, I can't believe you still want to help. You're my friend. Wouldn't you do the same for me? Enough talk. Now try and eat something. Thank you for your kindness, friend. Well, sure. Come on, Pinocchio. It worked. <laughs> sure did. <laughs> With every bite, I feel my strength returning. I promise when my strength returns, I shall repay this honorable deed. Old Debo will be fine now, thanks to you, Pinocchio. He wasn't able to eat the mutton, but that soup you gave him will help restore his health. He'll prove to be a brave and loyal friend. That's great. But I don't understand why he wouldn't eat the mutton. If you ask me, he was too proud to tell you that he's lost all his teeth. Oh, I hadn't even noticed that. He's getting old. What do you think will happen to poor Debo when we leave here and go to Spain? How's he going to care for himself? I don't know. Oh no! What should we do? Hey, maybe he'd like to join us on our flight to Spain. Oh, really? Do you mean it? Yeah, sure. Yahoo! <laughs> I gotta go tell Debo the good news. <laughs> Bring him out and meet me at the balloon. Keep those bellows pumping, Pinocchio. <laughs> Good, keep pumping. We'll be airborne in no time. It's a fine day for flying. I'll put on every last piece of coal. We need more heat. Pinocchio, I'd like to help. Feel better? I'm feeling as strong as a puppy now. Then get to work. After all, I've got a balloon to fly here. Good, Debo. The fire's hotter than ever. Ah, she's filling up quickly. She's airborne, boys. Come on, jump into the gondola. Hurry up, let's go. Wait for me. I'm right behind you. Up and over. Catch me. Hey. Get set to cast off, everyone. First the stovepipe, then the top rope. There she goes! One more, and away we go! Yay! 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 Golly, look at how small everything is getting. The wind will catch us in just a moment. There it is! Ooh. Hang on to your hats, boys! <laughs> <laughs> Look! There's the fountain of Tangier! Oh, and the shipyard where Devil and I met! We won't need to stow away now! Farewell, We're our friend! Goodbye! Goodbye. I recognize that ship. It brought me from Spain to Africa when I was just a puppy. A puppy? <laughs> That's hard to imagine, Debo. And now you're returning to your homeland to retire. But I'm afraid I'm going to miss Africa terribly. Look, flying fish. Who says only birds can fly, Kiki? If this strong wind stays at our backs, we should reach the port in Spain no later than noon tomorrow. That's no time at all, Mohammed. I tell you, with a human flying this thing, we'll be lucky not to end up in Russia. Oh, 
gosh, the sky sure is pretty, isn't it? Sure is. There's nothing like a sunset at sea. Ah. Well, Hammond, what are we going to do at night? Why, we'll get some sleep. But what will happen if the balloon wanders off its course? That's the trouble, Pinocchio. It's a chance we take. When traveling by hot air balloon, there's no way to guide it. We're at the mercy of the wind. At the mercy of the wind? Oh, that sounds dangerous. Well, there's no turning back now, so you might as well get used to it. Exhausted from the excitement of the day, the bold traveler soon fell asleep in the cool night air. I'm all wet! Water? As the water closed in around them, Pinocchio wondered why he ever believed he could fly. And who was on the lookout, may I ask? Man the boat! What happened? Hey, just calm down. The hot air's cooling off. Uh, uh, hurry up now. Help me untie a couple of these sandbags, you two. Do as you say! Once we've dropped some weight, the balloon will rise again. The cool night air has lowered the balloon's air temperature. Gosh, it worked! That was close. Too close. I'll take the night watch. You three get some sleep. Muhammad gazed at the distant stars while his three companions slept. Later, he alone beheld the glorious sunrise. The early morning solitude gave him a chance to reread of the battles his father had fought. Get us out of here! A water spout! A big one! Oh, a water spout? He's right! It's a typhoon! Biggest one I've ever seen! Uh, what do we do now? Oh, that funnel will draw us right in! Where does something like that come from? I don't know. All I know is we've got to get out of here! Oh, look! That ship! Its crew is still sleeping. We have to warn them. Right! Water spout! It's no use. They can't hear you. It's swallowing up the whole ship. <laughs> Maybe we should all jump out. Oh, I'd rather be thrown to the heavens than fed to the fish. Hold, Hold your breath and hang on as tight as you can. can. Because of the lost weight, we're rising too quickly, and we'll soon be completely out of air. What? We'll soon suffocate. I don't need to breathe air, so it doesn't bother me. Help, Pinocchio. Tell me what I should do. You must remove the plug. Plug? What plug, Mohammed? I don't see any plug. What do you mean? It's up there. Huh? But I can't reach it. <sighs> well, here goes nothing. <clears throat> now, we just gotta get this thing open. <clears throat> It worked! We're going down! There! I got the plug back in, just in time! How does it feel to be a hero, Pinocchio? 
Oh, I'm not a hero. You guys would have done the same thing for me. It was nothing, really. Again, Pinocchio, you have shown remarkable courage. You would have made a fine lion hunter. Hi! Get lost, you freeloaders! Beat it! We need to stop and rest our wings. That's just too bad. Now beat it! What? Okay, you, you asked, asked for it! Hey! What are you guys doing? Knock it off! Hey, wait! Quit it! If they pop that balloon, we're gunners! Stop that! Oh, oh no! They've punctured it! We're in trouble! See you later! Enjoy your swim! I want everyone to grab a bag and toss it overboard. Uh, well, that's everything, Mohammed. Now for the hole. I have a patch for the leak. It should hold if I can just get it to stick. I think you better hurry up. There, that should do it. We're aloft, but we've lost our food and water. Yeah, but thanks to you, we're still alive. That may be true, but we're still dropping. We have to come up with a solution to this problem. There's only one thing we can do. What? Tell us! I'm afraid someone has to go overboard to lighten the lows. Is that the only way? You can't just drop somebody off in the middle of the ocean. I think you should be the one to jump, Mohammed. This ridiculous trip was your idea. Didn't I tell you only birds should fly? Or don't the toothless wonder here? Or not head, he'll float. Hold your tongue, Kiki. Now, let me think. We'll draw straws, short straw jumps. Huh? Oh. How do we know you won't cheat, Mohammed? You know which straw is shortest. I'll draw last. Now, who draws first? Pinocchio? Mm -hmm. Be brave, my friend. You're next, Debo. Gladly. Give me one. Now, let's see the straws. Mine is the same as Debo's. Ah! No fair! I won't go! Kiki, where's your sense of honor? Do I have to throw ah! you off? Go ahead and try if you can catch me! Kiki! If that dwarf thinks he can kick me off this balloon, he's got another thing coming! I really thought I was going to make it to Spain to search for my father. Hey! Get off that! Mohammed, look! There's part of the ship that was destroyed by the water spout. Hey, one of us could wait on that board at least until the balloon became airborne. Good idea, but how do we get to the board? Uh, uh, uh. No, Debo! Now you'll be safe. Debo. He's made it. Quick, throw him a line before it's too late. Hang on, Debo, we'll get you. Come on, catch. I nearly had it. I'll try again. Here! Now's the time to teach these wingless fools what happens when they cross Kiki! <sighs> Paddle the board closer! I've had quite enough of this sentimental slop. Time to leave! Whoa. I've huh? had it with this. I'm leaving! <laughs> Kiki, wait! Black-hearted bird. I'm glad to see him go. Hey, I have an idea. Tie this rope around me and lower me down to Debo. Uh, it's worth a try. Lower, Mohammed. Lower. Don't give up hope, Debo. I'm coming. Give me your paw. Still can't reach you. Uh. Lower me down farther. Almost just a little further. That's all the rope we have. Reach, we're so close now. Uh. Uh. Uh, uh, don't give up. I can't lose you now. It's no use. You go on without me. No, devil. You can't give up. You can't. Uh, you don't need an old wreck like me. But I can't leave you. I love you. Huh? Do you mean that? Of course. Don't you know you're one of my very best friends? And best friends always stick together. You're a brave lion hunter. And I need your courage. Oh, my friend, you don't need my courage. I don't? Why not? Because, Pinocchio, you've shown me bravery since the day I first met you. There's no need for you to use my courage. You have plenty of your own. As for me, 
I don't know if I'll see my homeland again, but I'm willing to go where the current takes me. Devo! My mind is set. You go join your father in Spain and I'll trust the waves. Oh. Farewell, my friend. Have faith in your own courage and bravery. Devo, don't despair. We'll sail for you in the morning. I'll watch for your sails and pray. We'll be back, I promise. Pinocchio, I'm pulling you back up now. Goodbye. Goodbye. Debo's lonely form faded into the distance and the sun set. Another night at sea wasn't something anyone looked forward to. What's this? There's a strong ocean current directly below us. That could only mean we're getting near the warmer, shallow water. That stream of water will sail Debo's raft right to the coast of Spain. Hey, wouldn't it be funny if he got there first, Pinocchio? Uh -huh. He better hurry, though. There she is. The southern coast of Spain. Isn't that a beautiful sight? It sure is. You know, I was born in Spain. Aren't you lucky? Wow, it's beautiful. Look over there, my father's favorite mountain range. Is it? Mohammed, do you think I'll find my father soon? Yep, I'm sure you will. And I know a good hunting dog who'd be more than willing to help you look. Yeah, I think Debo would help. Mm-hmm, you bet. And when you find your father, you can tell him all about our amazing journey. I can't wait to introduce the two of you. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't wait to meet him, Pinocchio. Great! The two companions floated silently over the southern coast of Spain, thankful for their safe passage. The beauty of the mountains at sunset gave Pinocchio faith, faith that he would find his beloved Geppetto.